guys. Just wanted to go over a couple of scriptures from the Gospel of 1 John chapter 5. So I'm just going to read starting from 1 John um, chapter 5 verse 1. It says, Whoever believes that Jesus is the Christ is born of God. And everyone who loves him who also begot also loves him who is begotten of him, which is Christ. 1 John chapter 5 verse 2 it says, By this we know that the love of the children of God when we love God and keep His commandments, and it's the commandments of God, and, and to do uh, the commandments of God, we look at the Ten Commandments, which is, you know, you, you shall have no other God before me. We all know the Ten Commandments, the, the law and everything of what's right and wrong is based off of it. So it's following the commandments of God and to do the will of what God commands us to do. So the commandment of God, so we know the commandments of God, the Ten Commandments of what was given to us, which is what everything is based off of on in the United States for law. If, if you steal something, if you um, commit murder, it's all based off of what God had originally uh, planned for right and wrong at the Ten Commandments. But First John chapter 3, verse 23, it says, And this is His commandment, this is God the Father's commandment, to believe in the name of His Son, Jesus Christ, and to love one another as He commands us. So that's the Father's commandment. The Father's commandment, and for our will, is it's for His will to be done, is for us to believe in the Son, to accept the Son, and to love the Son. That's what the Father commands of us to do. So, going back then, and that's, that's the commandment of God, or what God commands us. That's First John chapter 5, verse 2. It says, By this we know that we are the children of God when we love God and keep God's commandments. And God's commandment is to love the Son and to follow the Son. So, verse 3, First John chapter 5, verse 3, it says, For this is the love of God, that we keep His commandments, and His commandments are not burdensome. Verse 4 says, For whatever is born of God and overcomes the world, this is the victory that we have come, overcome the world, our faith. We know that Christ overcame the world. Um, dying for the sins of the world, he, he overcame it all, so we can now overcome the world through Him. So it's the Son that we're following. We're given into the Son and following the Son. And the Lord's command is for us to give into the Son. And so when we give into the Son, the Son has commands for us too. And it's following after because what the Son commands lines up with what God commands. See, the Son doesn't go against God. They go, they go in our side with together. The Son lines up with God perfectly because the Son is God. So what the Son commands is what the same is what God commands. So when he says, when Christ says, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments, it's the commandments of God. So just a couple, a lot of us are already familiar with the commandments of Christ, for there was uh, the two that he said, the most powerful commandment, the, the, the first one that we should is love the Lord God with all of your heart, all of your soul, all of your mind and your strength, and then love your neighbor as yourself, but there's no other command, greater commandments, it's because it's love, because God is love. So that's the greatest commandment is loving the Lord God with um, all of your soul, all of your heart, all of your mind and your strength. And then the, um, the, great, the next one is to love your neighbor as yourself. So that's the commandments of Christ. But he also had some other commandments as well. That is, it's the detail. If you open up the word of God, get in with Christ, get to know him, he will reveal what he expects from us, what he commands us um, to do, which is amazing. So there's just there's just a couple commandments, you know, that Christ, that I just want to highlight. Obviously, there's a ton of commandments that He commands us, but there's some that He He said right before He left. So this is the most this is the most important one is to love is to love the Lord God and then love your neighbor. So just a couple of commandments. It says, when you stand praying, forgive, and it's it's. And when you are stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive him, so that your Father in heaven may also forgive your sins. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father who is in heaven forgive your sins. And that's Mark chapter 11, verse 25 and 26. Christ said, you must be born again. You should not be surprised at my saying you must be born again. And that's John 3, 7. Let your light shine before men. If you are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. The same way let your shine, light shine before men, 
that they may see your good deeds and praise the Father who's in heaven. Matthew chapter 5 verses 14 and 16. So there's a lot, there's a lot of commandments that, that the Lord commands us. Um, but the greatest commandment, he says, is to love the Lord God with all of your heart, all of your soul, all of your, all of your strength, all of your mind, and then to love your neighbor as yourself. So we have two highlighted because he said these are the greatest commandments. But when you truly walk in fellowship with him, when you're truly going after him, you want to know the creator. You want to know what he commands us, what we expect. And we know that by opening up the word of God. You have to open up the word of God and get in with him and he'll show you his commandments. He'll know his commandments and your characteristics, who you are, will start to line up with who he is because he'll reveal that to you. So it, it's having the, it's knowing what true love is and walking in love because he is love. And that's what he told his disciples right before he left is this is the greatest commandment. So it's going off the greatest commandment because God is love. He commands us to follow after the Son, and the Son commands us to love. And that's it all lines up with each other, and it's amazing. So putting aside the little detail and walking in, walking in the ways of Christ, there's obviously commandments that He commands us to do that is, that's a bunch of commandments, but it all lines up with what God commands us to. But when you highlight the last two, which is the greatest, that's what we go off of, and the rest will come. For you, you give in to Christ, you follow after Christ, you um, give in to what He commands, and then the rest will just come because you'll adapt to Him. You have the Holy Spirit living inside of you. The walk of life of righteousness with Him is a, a path that's continuing. So more and more things will start to be um, shown to you, given to you, as long as we're following after His commandments and what He commands us. And this is what's amazing because... It lines up with the video that I did yesterday of being able to tell who belongs to who because anybody can just say anything. It's if their fruit and their works line up with what they're saying, you'll be able to know the truth. And nobody can follow after God and know what love is unless they're following in His footsteps and following after God. But, but to follow His commandments and the greatest commandment that He gave us is to love the Lord God and then love, to neighbor, love our neighbor as ourselves. So... Verse 5, last one I'm going to do here is just verse 5. First um, John chapter 5, verse 5, it says, who is, who is he who overcomes the world, but he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? So we are able to overcome the world by Jesus. And if we, we believe in him, we accept him, our life belongs in him. He dwells in us. Nothing can stand up against us because he already overcame the world. So we overcame the world by him and by what he did because he lives in us and we now belong to him. So being he being di he dying and being raised, we'll also be raised with him. So he says, have no fear for I've overcame the world. So we can give him all things, give him our anxieties, which is First Peter, to walk in his life into his light which is the light of the world which is Matthew so he's given us everything that we need he's told us our value we know that we have value uh, m more than many sparrows we know that all of our hairs are numbered so the Lord's literally with us given us everything that we need and and to not have any fear because he overcame the world what can the world do to you but to now truly walk in love and righteousness to be able to test every spirit to line up every spirit because you now walk in love and in love with God and you can now overcome the things of this world because the world doesn't have love the world is against God because God is love so it's against love so if you have love true love conquers all things it conquers a multitude of sins so it's understanding what true love reaching out and following true love and letting true love adapt to you adapt in your life which is Christ and he's going to show you more and more and more and more and more and that's what is so amazing because God's so big you look at everything in the world and it's so big and it, you think how long is it going to take you to get to know God eternity that's how big he is and it's just so amazing so I just wanted to go over a couple of scriptures I thought it was super powerful here in first John chapter 5 and uh it's just amazing knowing that we love God so if we do so we keep his commandments and his command is to follow the son and then we follow the son the son's commands lines up with the father so it's all perfect it's all it's amazing the word of God and who he is literally alive and it's amazing so I just wanted to make this video um, thank you guys for tuning in I'll be back definitely um, tomorrow with some first John chapter 6 I'm gonna go over just continue reading through the word so we'll we'll read it together right on God bless you guys